And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We got four awesome donation decks. We're starting off with Samurai Zoe. It's going to be a Yasuo Zoe deck. Um, this, this deck looks pretty cool. We're going to be heading on over to the Monastery of Hirana where we're going to be creating our sanctuaries in hand. And those sanctuaries are going to allow us to recall an ally for one burst mana. And that could be really cool with these priestesses, right? Like you can recall like a Lunari priestess and then replay it. You have the invoke because you just played your recall and uh, get to invoke again. Or you could recall Solari priestess, play it the next turn with your daybreak and invoke again. We got both of those. Of course, um, Concussive Palm is kind of the real combo with the monastery, how you can keep picking Concussive Palm back up, keep stunning stuff. So that's pretty awesome. We also even have Spacey Sketcher. We can keep on bouncing our Spacey Sketcher and for very cheap, uh, get some Invoke cards with that. That should be a pretty cool combination too. So besides that, we have some good um, good Targon spells, Guiding Touch, Hush, Pale Cascade. We got some Steel Tempest and Sleepy Trouble Bubble to get some more stun in here to help out the Blade Twirler and the Yasuo. And then finally, our top end card, we got Infinite Mind Splitter. So it should be a pretty cool deck, bunch of stun, bunch of invoke, and our monastery letting us play a super long game. So it's Samurai Zoe. We're playing our, our games over in normal today with it being meme tier Monday. Um, Cause we're playing some, some just kind of crazy decks, not really necessarily designed for rank, but designed to have a lot of fun. And that's what we're gonna have. So our first opponent's gonna be very aggressive, which, you know, isn't necessarily the best for us. We'll go ahead and get rid of the Lunari Priestess and keep the rest. I think the Pell Cascade on the Solari Priestess could be... Um, could be pretty useful of turning Solari Priestess into a 3-3 to be able to trade with, like, a Callista. Alright, so channel point predictions are up. If you'd like to predict whether we will we will win or lose. I think I want the deal four, deal one. Yeah, Vast let's get that. Yeah, not an easy decision at all. I guess I'm gonna just go with another Priestess. Awesome, grab the Golden Sister. And have double Pale Cascade. Block over there. Back heretic. And just block here. Keep my spell mana. Have they didn't have a ravenous butcher or anything scary like that. Just got all little one ones. Sleep is for the guiltless. Ugh. My kind of lessons. Are you playing Ravenous Flock? I pull the string. Oh no. So I go Sleepy Trouble Bubble right now and just kill the three two. I think I think I'm supposed to do that. Now, I guess I didn't really think of this whenever I did it, but I'm going to say that I definitely thought about it and that I'm super smart. <laughs> but now we have this fleeting card that we're never going to cast, and so we'll just discard that with the one extra mana to the Spacey Sketcher. Definitely thought about that before. Um, I like the I like the, the Crescent Strike and the Moon Silver. Both of those are, are good options right now. Um, I will guess I'll go with the Crescent Strike with us being you know, like a Yasuo deck and everything, but I could see that Moon Silver... 
um, being important for being able to just play the cards in my hand. My true beauty is beneath the skin. I want to go the meteor shower so that just to kill this spider queen Elise, but then I only have one mana if I go meteor shower. See, like that's why like taking taking that moon silver would have been nice with meteor shower because then I would have had two mana still for all these other spells. Um, but I kind of want to do this and just kill them. Like I can go crescent strike, but then they still have all the the fearsome challengers. But maybe that's not that big of a deal. And I guess if I'm doing that, I don't actually target the Spider Queen. I think I actually just target two Spiderlings because it's going to kill both of them with the two damage. So then I'll just like Steel Tempest the Spider Queen. Or burn. I alone decide my fate. I don't think I'm that worried about Yasuo going to two health. No, I'm not. No, I'm really not that worried about Yasuo going to two health. We're gonna be just fine in like in the late game. I just wanna make sure that you know we take the least amount of damage possible. Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint trip, Zoe. Alright, so our choices are of course like Golden Sister or Meteor Shower, like which one of these do I want to play? I am gonna go with like we'd either go Golden Sister and attack immediately. Okay, looks like they got me there. Um, I'm gonna have Meteor Shower instead. I'm gonna try to kill this Spider Queen Elise. All right, we look like we're doing pretty good. I must get out of here. Um. Oh, you're interesting. Oh, it's on. All right, I'll take three damage. Uh. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, just fine. So I'm allowing them to play their spell first before combat, but I, that's going to turn on the Nightfall from my Pill Cascade. Looks like it could be Noxion Fervor. Or Decimate. I'm guessing Fervor or Decimate. Oh, Brood Awakening. I guess that's also a thing. Fluffy tails fool you. I'll face my fate. Your turn. Please, I have connections. All right, so we should be able to just um, use this cosmic rays next turn. Get rid of everything. Hopefully, they do not go rats. I was gonna say, hopefully, they do not go immediately to attacks, but no, they didn't. Okay, well, we got a block. 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 I know your true heart. Got a twelve. That's fine. It's 
still fine. Oh, my 2 1 should have blocked the 3 2, not the 2 1. Yeah, I guess you're right. Worked out, got to obliterate this Neverglade Collector as well. Alright, didn't work out as well as I hoped. Still worked out fairly well. Yeah, I think I think I probably should have. I, uh, I guess I don't use sanctuary as much, but I, I kind of was thinking about that after I passed the turn. Also, I think I should have just um, recalled the. Uh, I think I should have recalled the Solari Priestess. Uh, the end of last turn, it would have buffed the Blade Twirler too. Be just fine. Yeah, we'll be just fine. You know, pumped up the Blade Twirler too. No real reason not to. And there we go. Oh yeah. Alright, Samurai Zoe, gotta win. Sam Samurai Zoe. Yeah, recalling Golden Sisters and continuing to replay Golden Sisters does sound pretty silly. I was I was a little out of room for that, but that does sound something that could get out of hand. Um, you know what? Let's just keep that, actually. So basically, I'm keeping Infinite Mind Splitter because I don't really want it. And I'm just going to discard it to Spacey Sketcher. Um, I think this deck I want the Elusive. I didn't really want to put it like back into the deck and then even just draw it anyway. Just might as well just discard it and you know basically turn that into a a really powerful, um, you know like that's that was basically me keeping a trickster in hand, right? Like get a powerful celestial card. I think that's worth it. We can see how they certainly care about the elusives, and so the trickster should help slow them down a little bit. try to like mystic shot I have like two options to get rid of it can't say no to fizz because he's the best in the biz 
one light guide you, my brethren. Let's do this! So I want to do like the deal four, deal one. Like I want them to play like this trickster, and I do four to it, and do one to the daring Poro. Deal me in. Uh. So never mind. We gotta do this instead. I'm a people person. And good thing we just kept that one infinite mind splitter and discarded it. We've drawn the other two. Stop. Yeah, where's our Yasuo? All right, here it is on top. Here's Yasuo. So close. So close. I only have four mana. I need five. I need to play this Woya. Traveler plus Monastery of Hirana sounds kind of cool. If you know, like the game would last 100. Yeah, you know, like if we have like if this was like 160 life to 170 life. We would be looking really good with <laughs> just doing that forever. I don't think it's Falling Combat. I think it's like one of these two. You know, I'd rather just play like Warrior Challenge than play Falling Combat. I'll go Traveler. Good. Challenge there. Witness glory. And of course, attacking with these because if they want to, if they want to block with the four four, then my trickster does trade with, with that thing. But that's that's great. Getting rid of that. Twisted Fate, of course, because that thing was about to level up, drawing four cards. So that's important. Humanity is obsolete. Obsolete. Hey, Zap. Need a hand? Can't say no to Fizz. Stop. Stop taking all my cool stuff. That's their third iterative improvement on my on my stuff. So are they going to be playing their own infinite mind splitter next? I'm planning on like you know playing my own infinite mind splitter this turn. Can you improve perfection? Lock them down. Lock up these burble fishes. Keep these elusives from killing me. Or at 
least try. Let's go you. All right, so yeah, monastery. So with the monastery, we can you know keep picking up like traveler probably right now. I could pick up the Zoe and replay Zoe. You cost five mana total. Maybe I want to do this Zoe's sleepy trouble bubble and put the Zoe back into my deck, or I do the normal. I probably want to do. I guess I could do one of these and kill this verbal fish. I guess normal. Yeah, I guess you're right. They have 10 mana. There's probably no point in this because then they just replace this purple fish with something else. They have 10 mana. They also are passing right now and allowing me to open attack. So that's kind of cool. Fooled them. They thought I was going to be playing that that removal spell. Nope. I guess an open attack isn't that good, though, is it? Uh, let's see. I trade nine nines. Yeah, it's not that great for me. Alright, let's pick up you. Replay you. Ooh. These are all great. <laughs> They're all great. Uh, Equinox or Falling Comet? Kind of like Equinox. Equinox basically is Falling Comet, but only costs one mana. Knows me. I am the Traveler. I am the Traveler. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Targeting Fizz. Is it possible I should use this one on this infinite mind splitter and allow me to attack with all of these? With the, allow me to attack with these three? I think so. Eight out of ten. Why couldn't they just played one more? Why couldn't they just if they just played like this other elusive? I I would have been just fine because then I would have been able to throw down like Pale Cascade to make Zoe level you know or just even Trickster like have Zoe level up. Why couldn't they just play like one more thing? You know, give me a chance to play one more thing. How's it going? Oh oh, I'm not. Come on, never mind, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, oh, never mind. We get to block. I forgot. This isn't stunned anymore because I got rid of the Infinite Mind Splitter. I was thinking that was stunned. Still, I forgot. My bad. My bad. Um. Yeah, my bad. 
perfect. Okay, never mind. Life's great. Monastery? I don't want the monastery. I think I'm just gonna. I'm thinking about like recalling the tail of the dragon. It's stunning. Open attack puts them to one. This allows, like, this means they don't get to block with a crappy little 1-1 one, one elusive, and they have to block with, like, some better elusive. Because, obviously, they have to block both Mind Splitters. And, you know, putting them down to 1 or putting them down to 4 isn't any different. And there we go. That'll do. So, open attack would not have killed them and would have gave them another draw step to draw a... Um, would have gave them another draw step to draw a burn spell. But now, we kill them. Two and zero oh, without even finding Yasuo. That's a good deck that we just beat, right? Like they have, they had a a ton of elusives, double infinite mind splitter, just locked them down. That was pretty sweet. So Yone really in soul with Freljord? Kind of makes me think this is, or sorry, not, why did I say Yone, Yone Aurelian Soul? Sorry. Zoe Aurelian Soul with Frel Yord kind of makes me think this, that this is a Targon's Peak deck. That's what I'm expecting. So, of course, those two are gone. I guess I'm going to actually mulligan the Pell Cascade too and just keep the Priestess with uh, what we have here, see what we got going on. I could see discarding a Priestess. Not out of the question. Monastery of Harana. Wow, not even scared of my monastery. They'd rather draw their Targon's Peak than destroy my monastery. I wanted to get the Obliterate there, Targon's Peak. That's what I was hoping for. This is going to be a weird game. I can tell you that right now. This is going to be one weird game. Gravity! Which side was upside again? Whichever way the paint drips, Zoe. 
Are they telling me they just got Skies Ascend? I mean, they got Skies Ascend, I'm kind of dead. Still have their zero mana card. How's it going? Uh, these are not the best. I wanted something like super expensive and super good, like the Scourge. You know, like with Targon's Peak, I wanted like really cool, expensive cards. What I have? I have Yasuo as my other champion. I guess I take this thing. Alright, more Zoe decks. This one with Lee Sin. I like our chances here with all the stun cards, like against Lee Sin. I like our chances. So we have Monastery. Let's get rid of the Trouble Bubble. <laughs> so, like, Monastery Concussive Palm is, like, a great combination. All right, monastery in play. Speak, stars. Speak, I say. I fight with my spirit. Okay, my what do we want? Do I want to try to get rid of this mentor? I don't think so. Deal four, deal one, or warrior? I guess warrior? I'm not expecting deal four, deal one necessarily to do a whole lot of stuff. Kitty Dexterity, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the cheers. I appreciate that. Let's give them all of those different... I don't really want to get like let them get all the gems and get all those free spells, honestly. Perfect. Spill paint is just accidental art. That is the best card possible. And really for either one of these. I am going to Sanctuary back the Spacey Sketcher. I think I'm going to keep on trying that. I'm going to try to get find another Equinox for the Eye of the Dragon, because I'm, I'm assuming they can stop this. You know, maybe they use their own Concussive Palm or something. But I think I'm going to bounce my Spacey Sketcher and keep trying to use that card. Four, yeah, we're playing against Lee and Zoe. A pleasure to see you, Master. Okay, never mind. Eye of the Dragon gone. Alright, so if I have the dragons gone, then let's bounce this and look for the um, six mana obliterate invoke. Because I got enough stun cards to take that, you know, to keep that thing in check for a while. Um, you know, they may they may be like denying and stuff like that, but. They're a ways away from leveling this thing up. They just played their Zenith Blade. First spell of the game. 
Yeah, exact the comet. Yeah, that's what I was gonna. Yeah, search for the comet. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. This is pretty cool. What our deck has going on is pretty cool. This is starting to feel pretty busted. <laughs> just picking up like these things and just getting like infinite invoke cards, like infinite celestial cards. This is feeling pretty busted. Yeah, sure, they, they can use a deny. I mean, that's fine. I'm, <laughs> I can get more. I can find more equinoxes. They want to use nopifies and denies and stuff. That's cool with me. Yeah, I, I will definitely trade that for a Bastion. That's a that's a Bastion that's not you know like that's not stopping a Concussive Palm or a Steel Tempest. So I'm going to start with the Concussive Palm, because I think that's going to get countered. And then I'll go to the Steel Tempest after that. Because I don't have room, like the 3-2 would get, the 3-2 would just get uh, obliterated anyway. Conflict is all in the mind. The dragon spirit awakens. Um, this uh, Lee Sin's starting to be scary, so I'm gonna just just go with this. Uh... No cure. <clears throat> just gonna go with this mind splitter. Keep it in check. See a mountain goat. Fortunately, it wasn't something better. Mountain goat's not scary right now, but yeah, there we go. GG's. Dude, our deck is sweet. One step closer to redemption. Samurai Zoe, one step closer to the edge. Okay, another Fizz deck. By numbers, and we are going to be playing against Victor instead of Twisted Fate. Um, actually, maybe I'll just keep this Mind Splitter like we kind of did the last time, and, but I'm gonna, I don't really want these two cards to begin with. Cause, you know, like, Mind Splitter's just a good thing to discard right away. I think I'm okay with that. Mm, no, I'll just send them all back. I guess I could get rid of Hush. I don't know. Hush is good against Fizz, though. I guess I'm not discarding Hush. Blade Twirler. 
We could twirl some blades. Yeah, we could, we could twirl some blades. I ain't scared. I'll twirl some blades. Once I snap papers, now faces. Primed and ready. Okay, gonna need to find an equinox. System upgrade. A ticket to the gun show. So they attack with fizz, I would I would hush it, block with blade twirler. Take our elusive blocker. Zoe, I'm a serious artist now. I need sparkle flex. Behold me, ow, hairless apes. Why? Oh, yeah, I guess I could cosmic rays as this. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Can you improve perfection? Join me if you want to live. What if I don't want to live? Safety disengaged. Alright, play unit, there we go. There's another one. Hopefully it works, because I'm not I'm not gonna have any kind of stun or hush or anything available this turn. <laughs> Invoke so fair, GG's, yeah. Invoke is not exactly fair. So they still have six cards in hand to my five, so they'd be up a card, and they have six mana, but obviously I have these four things to play. Boom, 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 boom. My Zoe's at three. Got a little ways to go. He started without me. Wow, no attacks. They don't want their three three to attack. Let's do it over there. No blocks? Wow. I rise a mew. I guess you do rise a mew. Mm. Can't find Equinox though. Um, I think I'm gonna take the serpent to challenge Fizz. Yeah, it's it's Crescent Striker Serpent. Um, I guess Crescent Strike does really help out these Blade Twirlers. No, I think it's Serpent that, you know, we won't have the challenge this turn, but another turn. I'll have that. Alright, so now Zoe is at... Five. Yeah, I guess they jury-rigged thinking that maybe they would block, and then decided not to block. Alright, Sleepy, Trouble, Bubble. So that's five mana for four damage. Um, I have eight mana right now. I'd like to play the Blade Twirler first, of course. And maybe I should be playing the Blade Twirler first. But the, the problem with that right now, this turn, you're like, if I'm putting five mana on this, this thing, two mana on Blade Twirler means I don't have any kind of interaction for this other I stuff, disappear. and I don't really want that to be the case. I want to be able to block these Let's other cards. I guess I trade here oh, and here I know your true heart. and Can I here. How's it going? So he's at seven, going to be at eight. This will be nine. Please. 
Yeah, yeah, we've had a lot of success with Victor decks. Victor decks aren't easy to build or play. So if you're saying that, that Victor has had a low win rate, I'm not that surprised. That'll happen sometimes with new cards, having a low win rate is people like, that are tricky to build decks around and play and everything. So we're at eight currently. Nine. Think you're fast? Ten. I think this gives them all quick attack. Yeah, it gives them quick attack. So now we can give the Blade Twirler Challenger. Like, that could be something that could be really useful, having a Blade Twirler with Challenger. No, no, no! Ah, but we've only now just begun. The color is off! There's just so many elusives these days. Everything's elusive, but they're they're uh, conceding. We be having these quick attack challengers. Dude, our deck was sweet. So we went four and one, and you know, like our loss was because they just went like Targon speak on turn five into feel the rush. You know, like and it's just the game's over. And it's like, that's just not not even, like, a real realistic game, right? Like, that's just not a, a fair game. A Targon speaking to feel the rush. Um, getting a really in soul and Zoe as 10-10s. But so, like, besides, like, that one, you know, like, completely unfair thing that is possible to do in this game right now. Our deck was 4 and 1 besides that. That was pretty sweet, and we beat a couple of Tier 1 decks, you know, we beat a couple of, like, the... Uh, like yeah, like those, you know, those fizz decks are really good with all those elusives. And then we, and then uh, Zoe Lee Sin, you know, like even though we were playing in normals, we were playing against the uh, decks that are really popular right now and doing really well. Um, Cosmic Rays was really unfair for us. Yeah, Cosmic Rays, um, you know, just kind of obliterated two opponents with like them getting all those uh, cheaper elusives and stuff like that. That card was awesome, but. Just everything that we had going on, like honestly, monastery looked looked good. Those sanctuaries with the spacey sketcher and with you know like the priestesses, and then you know like the Solari priestess makes the traveler, and then you have the monastery with the traveler. But really, monastery spacey sketcher that was the the just kind of combination that looked awesome, of getting more spacey sketcher. So you just keep on getting more of these three or less cost invokes every turn. And, you know, like, you're getting Equinoxes and uh, things like that that are super powerful. Yeah, I was really I was really impressed with all this. The Guiding Touch didn't look that great, but besides that, everything else looked good. Like, you know, our Mind Splitters were awesome at the top end, even though I was, like, early early on. Like, I, so basically, the, the strength of playing three Mind Splitters, you could think, oh, man, I was discarding some Mind Splitters. Maybe we only need one or two. But actually, I really like having three of them because since I have three of them, I was able to just discard Mind Splitter early to Spacey Sketcher because I know that there's two more in the deck. And so I don't have to worry about, you know, like if you only play like one Mind Splitter, maybe even two Mind Splitters, you got to be like, oh man, I'm going to want a Mind Splitter later. And so I don't really want to discard this because then I won't have like a Mind Splitter later. But having three of them, it gave me that freedom to, to discard one and uh, still know that I have two in the deck and there's a very good chance that later on in the game I was going to have more of them. Yeah, yeah, we were a Yasuo deck. Um, yeah, Invoke is OP, so yeah, Infinite Invokes is really good. But yeah, yeah, we were a Yasuo deck. We were stunning stuff. The first couple of games we had Yasuo. Those last couple of games we didn't. Um, but yeah, being able to stun a whole bunch of stuff and everything and get, you know, Infinite Concussive Palms with Monastery. That's also a cool combo. This deck was sweet. I liked it. I liked it a lot. This was this was good. I liked our really low curve and only having Mind Splitter at the top end. But besides that, having a really low curve because we, as you saw, like we had 
millions of cards with monastery and all the invokes and so having all these cards cost a little bit amount of mana was really nice you know having sleepy trouble bubble steel tempest these cards costing not very much mana you know like we weren't um sitting around with a whole bunch of like denies and will of ionias and yones and all sorts of like more expensive cards no we just only kept the cheap cards and i think that was actually a uh, good deck building there so there we go. That's Samurai Zoe. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun and it looked really good. If you want a Yasuo deck, I mean, honestly, this looks like the best Yasuo deck I've played in a long, long time. <laughs> honestly. So yeah, if, you, if you're if you somebody who's a big fan of Yasuo, give this one a try and leave those comments. Let me know how it goes for you. Let me know how you like the deck. Hopefully y'all are enjoying it quite a bit. But that's all I got here for Samurai Zoe, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.